Hi students, uh, welcome to the class. In previous class, I discussed about uh, even signals and odd signals. So, which is an even signal and which one we call as an odd signal. So, even signal. If the signal is said to be even, it has to satisfy the condition x of t equal to x of minus t. x of t equal to x of minus t. If a signal satisfies this condition, then the signal is called as even signal. In the same way, if a signal is said to be odd signal, the signal is said to be odd signal, it has to satisfy the condition x of t equal to minus x of minus t. x of t equal to minus x of minus t. So these are the two conditions. If the signal satisfies the respective conditions, then there will be the respect to even and odd signals. Okay. So if you want to go for that one, see. If a signal satisfies the condition x of t equal to x of minus t, then it is called as even signal. If a signal satisfies the condition x of t equal to minus x of minus t, or simply we can write x of minus t equal to minus x of t. I already explained everything in the previous class. So, I am going on. Okay. Already saw the examples. How they can catch? Just symmetric. Even signals. Symmetric signals. All signals. Anti-symmetric signals. They are folded with respect to y-axis. Even signals. If we fold with respect to the y-axis, the image will be coincide. Same comes for even signals. Anti-symmetrical. Okay. First we have to fold with respect to y-axis and then we have to fold with respect to x-axis. That is anti-symmetrical. Out signals. Okay. Now, now we go for even and odd components of a signal. Any signal is a combination of even and odd components. Any signal, any signal, x of t, let us consider x of t is a signal. It is a combination of even components and odd components. That is, even component of the signal x of t can be represented as x e of t. x suffix e of t. And odd components of the signal may be represented as x o of t. So, x of t will be equal to x e of t plus x o of t. So, here any signal x of t can be expressed as a sum of its even components and odd components. That is, any signal is a combination of both even and odd components. So, in a signal, we have both even components as well as odd components. The even components are represented with x e of t and the odd components are represented with x o of t. x o of t. Okay. So, any signal x of t can be expressed as the sum of its even components x e of t and odd components x o of t. Okay. Even e odd o. So, in this way, I can simply write x of t will be equal to x e of t plus x o of t. So, from this signal, I can find out the even component as well as I can find out the odd component. From the complete signal, I can find out the even component as well as I can find out the odd component. So, how we can find out those even components from a signal and odd components from a signal means we have the two equations. So, even component of signal, I can, we can get the even component of signal from the equation x e of t equal to 1 by 2 into x of t plus x of minus t. x of t is a signal and in place of t if you write minus t then x of minus t if we add both this x of t plus x of minus t and the added signal is divided by 2 then we will get the even components. In the same way if we subtract x of minus t from x of t that is x of t minus x of minus t divided by 2 then that will give the odd component. So, I can get the even components and odd components of the signal from the equations x of t equal sorry x e of t equal to 1 by 2 into x of t plus x of minus t. In the same way odd component x o of t equal to 1 by 2 into x of t minus x of minus t. Okay. So, these are the two equations used to get the even component or odd component. Okay. So, actually we can prove this. We can prove this. 
So from the given signal x of t, how can you get the even component and how can you get the odd component? So how can we prove? Simple. So we can do this. So we can do this. The given signal is x of t. The given signal is x of t. Okay. So from that I can get the x of minus t also. I can get x of minus t also. So that that there they said the signal x of t is a combination of even components that is x e of t plus odd components that is x o of t. So the given signal is a combination of both even component and odd components. Okay. Now let us consider what is the value of x of minus t. We know the value of x of t. Then what is the value of x of minus t? Simply in place of t put minus t. In place of t put minus t. So in the above equation, generally they are given x of t is a combination of x e of t plus x o of t. So I am I need the signal x of minus t. What I have to do in the above equation? In place of t I have to replace with the minus t. So x of minus t will be equal to x e of minus t plus x o of minus t. Simple. In the equation. Now my question is, now my question is, uh, what is an even signal? What is an even signal? When we say a signal is even, simply when x of t equal to x of minus t. When when x of t equal to x of minus t. So that is nothing but even signal. That is for even components. Here x e of minus t can be written as x e of t. Simply you can write as x e of t because x of t equal to x of minus t. So add e here, add e here because it is an even signal. For even signal so x e of t must and should be equal to x e of minus t. So in place of x e of minus t, I can write x e of t. x e of t. See, x e of minus t will be written as x e of t because it is even component. So I can use the definition of an even signal. In the same way, odd signal. What is the equation for odd signal? x of uh, t will be equal to minus x of minus t. Or simply, or simply, you can say like this. x of minus t, x of minus t will be equal to place this minus this side. So we will get minus x of t. So this is a condition for odd signal. Okay, odd signal. So here we have the only odd signal. That is, I can replace over here. I can replace over here. What happens? x o of minus t will be equal to minus x o of t. So in place of x o of minus t, what I have to write? I have to write. I have to write plus into minus minus. I have to write minus x o of t. So this is the signal of x of minus t. So I have equation for x of t. I have equation for x of minus t. Let us consider this as 1 and let us consider this as 2. So by adding the two signals, add 1 and 2. Add 1 and 2. Add equation 1 and equation 2. What it will give? By adding 1 and 2. x of t plus x of minus t will be equal to add this 2. Add this 2. Simply add this two. So this becomes x of t plus x of minus t. If we add this x e of t plus x e of t to x e of t, x of t plus of minus minus, x of t minus x of t, both will be cancelled. 2 minus 2, 0. x of t minus x of t, 0. 
so this is nothing but zero so there is no need to write that one so what i need i need what is the value of this one i need what value of this one so i need the value of x of t from the above equation so even component of the signal x e of t will be equal to will be equal to bring this side 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into x of t plus 1 by 2 into One by two into x of t plus x of minus t. Okay, so see it is what they had given. So in the same way, you can prove for odd component also. So from this equation, I get the even component. From the same equation, I can get the odd component. Same reason. I know x of t. I can go for x of minus t. So x of minus t equation I got like this. So previously I did. Addition of equation 1 and 2. Now I go for the subtraction of equation 1 and 2. I will go for the subtraction of equation 1 and 2. So 1 minus 2. 1 equation 1 minus equation 2. Now what will we do? Equation 1 minus equation 2. So I am minusing this. So what we will get? So let us see. Yeah. So here, uh, hope this is the equation that you need. Yeah. This is the equation I need. Okay. So second one is, I am subtracting these two equations. Subtracting to these two equations. So I am writing this equation again here. So we know x of minus t equal to x e of t minus x o of t. So this will be the second equation. Just I rewrite this equation. Okay. Just I rewrite this equation. Okay. Now we go for 1 minus 2. Equation 1 minus equation 2. What will you give? x of t minus x of minus t. Which will be equal to x e of t minus x e of t. Both will be cancelled. So here we will get 0. Next, x o of t minus of minus, minus of minus will become as plus. Because I am subtracting x o of t from x o of t. So x o of t minus of minus, that means plus. So I am already here with the minus. So I am subtracting with minus of minus plus. So that is x o of, x o of t, x o of t. 2 x o of t. What I need? I need only the R component. I need only the R component. So, X O of T will be equal to 1 by 2 into X of T minus X of minus T. It's simple. X of T minus X of minus T. Okay. Yeah. So So this is the equations. So these are the equations, two equations that what I had given in the slide. So even component of the signal will be given as 1 by 2 x of t plus x of minus t and our component of the signal will be equal to 1 by 2 x of t minus x of minus t. Are you clear? I hope you are all clear in this. Okay. So. Yeah. So, this is the slide. I gone for the proof of these two equations. So, I can prove these two equations. In the same way, we can prove every, each and every equation. So, as if these are the beginning classes. I explain the proof for this. In the coming classes, I will give the equations and you have to prove by yourself. If you have any doubts, you may ask me at any time. Okay? Simply. So, these are the proofs. What are the e proof for the even? I shown you the proof for even component. I showed the 
proof of odd component. So in this way, I can find out the even component and the odd component of any signal. Okay, I will find out even component and odd component of any signal, and I can find out whether the signal is even or odd by the basic definitions of even and odd signals. Okay, next. See, important is one. The product of two even signals. The product of two even signals. Is must and should be a even signal. Okay, the product of two even signals. Let's take plus into plus. It's always a plus. Okay, na? The product of two even signals is always a even signal. In the same way, the product of two odd signals. The product of two odd signals is also an even signal. The product of two odd signal in a simple logic. Minus into minus will go for plus. Minus into minus will go for plus. In the same way, the product of two odd signals is also an even signals. The product of two even signals is an even signal. The product of two odd signals is also an even signal. The product of even signal and odd signal is an odd signal. Plus into minus will goes to minus. That is the product of even signal and odd signal is an odd signal. Okay. So you can prove that also. So that's the work for you to prove two even signal. The product of two even signals is an even signal and the product of Two odd signals is also an even signal, and the product of even signal and odd signal is an odd signal. Okay, so this is what you have to prove mathematically. Okay, it's a very easiest process. Try yourself. Okay, next. So problems on even and odd signals. I'm going for the problems on even and odd signals. Here are two ways. First, whether we have to find out whether the given signal is an even signal or odd signal. First, we have to find out that one. Whether it is an even signal or odd signal, that is the first one. Secondly, we have to find out the even components and odd components of the signal. Secondly, we have to find out the even components and odd components of the signal. So, problem may be asked in the two ways. First, in the exam they may ask whether the given signal is even signal or odd signal. Find out, or they will ask you find out the even components and odd components of the given signal so i will give a few examples in both the cases first case i am going for verify whether the signals are even or odd so here i have written three examples so i will solve this okay i had gone for three examples three examples now I will go, I will start with the first one. So they had given the signal as x of t equal to 2t square plus 4. So I had to verify whether the signal is even or odd. So for that, I had to find out first x of minus t. Why? Because if I know the value of x of minus t, if that x of minus t is equal to x of t, then I can say that signal is even signal. Or if that x of minus t is equal to minus x of t, that x of minus t is equal to minus x of t. Then I can say that signal is odd signal. If that signal is that x of minus t is not equal to x of t. And that x of minus t is not equal to minus x of t. Then that signal is neither even signal nor odd signal. Okay. So first case for anything I have to find out the value of x of minus t. So first I am finding x of minus t for this one x of minus t simple in the above equation put minus t in place of t put minus t in place of t so what the equation becomes 2 into minus 2 whole square plus 4 that will be equal to minus t whole square same t square 2 t square plus 4 so 2 t square plus 4 is equal to x of t so that will be equal to x of t itself x of t itself so x of minus t is equal to x of t that means this is the condition for even signal so what you got finally you got x of t equal to x of minus t or x of minus t equal to x of t so we can say that the given signal is an even signal is an even signal so this is the first one next go for the second one Go for the second one. So what in the second one? Same. Just go for finding the x of minus t. Let us take x of minus t. So x of minus t equal to put minus t in place of t in the complete equation. So here it is t. So I have to go for minus t. Here 
it is taken go for minus t whole cube plus 3 into minus t. So that will be equal to what happens? Minus t whole cube. Minus t whole cube will be equal to minus t cube plus into minus minus. So minus 3 t. So from this I can take minus as common. I can take minus as common. If I take minus as common, what happens? t cube plus 3 t. So I take my minus as common or if you multiply this minus with this one. So minus t cube minus 3 t. So for that reason I just take minus as common from the two letters. So that will be equal to minus of what is t cube plus 3 t? t cube plus 3 t is equal to x of t. t cube plus 3 t equal to x of t. A simply it is nothing but minus x of t. Minus x of t. Simply we can write minus x of t. So this is nothing but x of t. So finally what we got? What we got? x of minus t equal to minus x of t. From that we can say that x of t, this one is x of t, which is equal to minus x of minus t. So this is the condition for odd signal. So I can say that this signal is an odd signal. So this is, this is odd signal. So this is a finding whether the signal is even or not. So on doing the problem, I can say this signal is an even signal. In the same way, on doing the problem, I can say this signal is an odd signal. This is the procedure to verify whether the signal is even signal or odd signal. Coming to the last one. Coming to the last one. So the same procedure. First, I have to go for x of minus t. x of minus t. So in place of t, I have to put minus. So minus 4 of minus t. That will be equal to e power e power minus of minus plus e power minus of minus plus 40 e power 40 so is this e power 40 e power 40 is equal to x of t is this e power 40 is equal to x of t no because x of t is e power minus 40 e power minus 40 not e power 40 so this e power 40 is not equal to e x of t is this equal to minus x of t? What is the value of minus x of t? Minus x of t is minus e power minus 40. Minus e power minus 40. But here I got only e power 40. So e power 40 is not equal to minus e power minus 40. In the same e power 40 is not equal to e power minus 40. That is it is not equal to x of t or it is not equal to x minus x of t. So here, this is, this x of minus t is not equal to x of t and x of minus t is not equal to minus x of t and and x of minus t is not equal to not equal to not equal to minus x of t okay x of minus t is not equal to minus so this is not an even signal or not an odd signal so neither even not odd. So this signal is neither even or odd. So this one is not an even signal and not an odd signal. Clear? So this is the examples to verify whether a signal is even signal or whether a signal is odd signal or whether a signal is neither even nor not. That is, it is not an even signal, not an odd signal. So this is the 
proof for whether the given signals are even or odd or neither even or odd. So in this way we can do many examples. So you can practice more examples then you will be more perfect whether to find out whether the given signal is even or odd. So coming to the next slides. So up to now we, we find out whether the given signal is an even signal or odd signal.